In September 2019, the Office of Public Works carried out a conditioned survey of the 10th century Mudderdux Cross at the ancient monastic site of Monaster Boyce in County Louth. Standing at around 5.8 metres or 19 feet tall, the giant sandstone cross is one of the finest pieces of early medieval sculpture in Ireland and is considered the finest of all the Irish high crosses. It was carved in the late 9th or early 10th centuries and is named after an abbot of Monaster Boyce, Muradach MacDonnell. The monastery here was established in the 6th century AD by St Buihe. The OPW provided the public with a once in a lifetime opportunity to view the head of the cross up close. Scaffolding was erected around the cross and a temporary wooden platform built to allow experts to examine the condition of the sandstone cross which is in places showing signs of water erosion and other age related damage. I took the opportunity to view the cross at close quarters. Having been at Monaster Boyce many times over the past few decades, I have always had to be content to take photographs of it from the ground looking up. Now, finally, I could view some of the ornate carvings up close. The cross contains many biblical scenes and other geometric shapes and interlace ornament. The east side of the cross is adorned with scenes from the Old Testament, while the west side depicts scenes from the New Testament. There are 124 figures carved onto the various panels of the cross. Peter Harbison, an expert on Irish high crosses, says that Murradoch's cross and one of the two others at Monaster Boyce, the West or Tall Cross, are two of the most significant and best preserved sandstone high crosses in Ireland. Having seen this video, I hope you will agree with this assessment.